Hey everyone, this is Shrito Thakur, AJ Raven, and I have the digital copy of a new comic book by the name Death's Head uh, on my computer over here. And yeah, I won't be able to show you an entire thing because of copyright issues, but I will probably end up showing certain panels so that you can see what I'm reading. And this is a new mini series. I guess it's only four issues long, and I decided to check it out because it features Wiccan and Hulkling. And if you guys know me, you know that I'm a huge fan of Wiccan and Hulkling. And Wiccan is such a powerful character. I don't know why other teams don't use it, especially the X-Men. So that's it. This is from a writer named Teeny Howard. I haven't read anything of her before, but I do know that she's she will be writing a new comic book uh, called Strike Force for Marvel. And it has Blade, Angela, Wiccan. Uh, there's also Spectrum, uh, Damien Hellstrom. And yeah, anyway to the comic. So we have the cover over here and this is Death's Head. I don't know anything about it except for maybe he's from the UK, I guess. Okay, so hmm. so the first panel seems to be Death's Head uh, logging on. Apparently he was shut off. Uh, oh, so his body is being used in the, as an amplifier by this rock band which, oh, oh, okay. So that's head, the body or the boy, it's written with a parenthesis, uh, with brackets in question. So warning system, highly compromised, restart, yes. So backlog is 13 weeks, four days and 14 hours ago. So he's been, oh, he's been, he doesn't know what's happened to him. Oh, Yandu from Guardians of the Galaxy. He's with these four alien girls. So that's head in. So he Yondu has a bounty on that's he, that's head head. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Yondu isn't happy because Yondu has been paying debts uh, for that's head upgrades, but that's that's head hasn't been coming in with the bounties at the pace at the pace that Yondu likes. Oh, so that's head that's head has been. Uh, replaced by okay so the four alien girls were actually machines and a fight ensues okay uh -huh. hmm. the art is good like the art really works with this weird retro style story uh oh so they oh so they tr they literally throw him out like trash and he comes to you so he drops in and he drops in a trash can in new york a lot of comedy there, uh, Teeny Howard. Okay, so... Oh, he's back. He's back online. Everyone is screaming. He's reattaching his limbs. And we have Wiccan and Hulkling. Okay, so Wiccan is like, I'm sorry I made you carry our backpacks to hold. So you're just in... Why would Wiccan carry backpacks? Isn't he a reality manipulator? Yeah, so they... Oh... Huh... Hmm. I do remember seeing this panel do, uh, because I read the preview, but yeah, Wiccan should be able to just transform his clothes whenever he wants because again, he's a reality manipulator and he can do the same for Hulkling. Also, he he says that Hulkling is his boyfriend. Are the, aren't these two supposed to be engaged to be married? What happened to that? Aren't, aren't these two engaged anymore? What's what's going on there, Teeny? I'm a bit... I'm a bit scared did you break off their engagement <laughs> okay so a fight ensues he's like uh, wiccan knows who that's head is he has read avengers files on him oh okay so he's like please don't get shot baby i need to concentrate that's cute so Hulkling goes in, Hulkling's shocked uh, because Death's Head has experience. Okay, so Wiccan is like contain the robot, contain, contain robot, contain robot. And I'm like, this is weird. Why is Wiccan wearing his old clothes? And why is Wiccan saying all of his spells out loud? Shouldn't he be experienced enough to cast spells without saying them out loud? Or is this a very powerful spell? Hmm. Okay, so apparently he has teleported. <laughs> he teleported Death's head to their bathroom. Uh, Hulkling and Wiccan are walking there like we don't know who he is. Okay. Hulkling is like we should call the rest. We should call Kate. We should call America and even uh, Wiccan's brother. 
Oh, okay. So Wiccan is not feeling it because they aren't really the real Avengers, which kind of makes sense because even when they were the young Avengers and even when they were the new Avengers, they weren't basically the real Avengers, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Oh, so Dead's head is uh, waking up in the bathroom and he's like, there's a drain there, so it's a 90% chance I'm going to be eviscerated in it, which kind of makes sense. He doesn't know that it's a bathroom. Uh, okay, so the good news is that Wiccan and Billy are still together. That's good. <sighs> okay, I'm relaxed. They're like, I love you, I love you. So Wiccan wants to play games, I guess. But he's not playing games. He's going to cast a spell and he's like, uh, like all possible realities, all possible red. Oh, so this is a very awesome panel with all of the art. So what do we see here? We see Billy and Teddy kissing each other. We see the Young Avengers team. We see a new, younger model of Death's head. Oh, we see Billy and the Hulkling's little kid. I guess we saw him during that comic book series that was by the name Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme. It was set in the future. Wiccan was the Sorcerer Supreme of Earth and he was also a member of the X-Men and he had a son with uh, Hulkling. Okay, I'm looking into where the Violent Machine came from. Mm -hmm. Why is Wiccan looking into the future? Okay, so he's like, I do, how do I get here to this reality? He wants to be in a reality where there's this weir a weird version of Death's Head. We have Ironheart, we have uh, Captain America, we have Wiccan and Hulkling. Huh. There are also some panels with Miss Marvel, Squirrel Girl, everyone, and Nails. Whoa, Nail game is strong, Wiccan. He's really turning into a witch and I'm here for it because I read I read online that Teeny Howard will be introducing mutant centric magic in the new X-Men uh, book that she's writing. So I'm interested in seeing that. Will Wiccan be using mutant centric magic as well? So Wiccan is like, this is such a bad idea. Knowing things never made anyone happy ever. Uh, I could have set up the damn <laughs> if you're playing, okay. Oh, a bang. Oh, oh, that's head back. And Wiccan's running and he's like, Billy. Okay, so Billy's okay. Billy's okay. So Billy and that head are fighting again. And he's like, Teddy, not the mattress. <laughs> Why? Oh, okay. So the version of Dead's head that Wiccan was seeing in those alternate realities are actually hidden under their mattress for some reason. Why, Wiccan? What, what have you been up to? And Wiccan is like, I can explain, and this, and the issue ends. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this was an enjoyable issue. I really liked it. And I really think that Wiccan has been looking at the future and he's been trying to manipulate the future for some reason, which is, a, which is never a good idea. So it's really interesting to see. I think that this story is going to tell us a lot more about how Wiccan is feeling because he isn't part of a big team anymore. Again, like I said, he's so powerful when it comes to reality manipulation and magic that he should be part of some team. He should be part of the Avengers or he should be part of the champions or at least he should be part of some X-Men team. But yeah, I enjoyed this issue. Even though I don't know anything about Death's Head, I do enjoy him as a character. He is very ruthless. He's very strong, but he's a killing cyborg, but he has a sense of humor that I can appreciate. And again, Teeny Hover did a great job writing all of these characters. Again, are Wiccan and Teddy not engaged anymore, Miss Teeny Howard? I need to know. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the three more issues and then I, I'm i not really sure. Is this story going to lead into the Strike Force story? Again, I'm not really sure, but I will be reading the upcoming three issues and the art is great. It works well with this kind of story. And again, what's the deal with Wiccan wearing his old costume? I really liked his cosmic costume with those cosmic patrons. And also, why is he like saying all of the spells out loud? Anyway, let me know what you guys thought. Like I said, I enjoyed this issue and I'm looking forward to more. And yeah, until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys later.